guys uh, we were very close to Malo and I've done a kind of a few videos in Malo but I didn't put it all together um, so you've noticed that I've been uh, to Malo and I have a blog post about it but there is no video so I'm here now um, it's a race uh, course here in Malo it's called the Malo race course funny enough and, um, this is the clock house it's been recently renovated. Malo is a very busy town. Of course, it's on the way to Limerick. There's movement here all the time. And there's a few historic houses which you will see. Of course, I do apologize. It's not all filmed on the same day. And um, the weather is gorgeous here. And of course, it is a home to Malo Castle and a couple of other castles in the area which are privately owned. And um, I'm not gonna get to them, but um, it's a very, very, it's a library, it's a monument, it's a very busy place, it's not, a, like, it's a fairly big place, I would say 40,000 people live here or so, so, uh, has a lot of local businesses, farms around, big on horses, of course, because of the race course, it's a lot of horse breeders, and, um, yeah, I just wanted to film it to show what the actual, Malo Town Center looks like, and especially this um, clock house that's been renovated, very Tudor style building. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the castle so you actually see what it's like. <laughs> see you soon. So, uh, today I'm visiting Malo, and um, this is a spa house currently closed for renovation. Um, one of the sites in Malo, along with Malo Castle, where I will be heading shortly after this. So, unfortunately, I can't get very close to. The house itself but uh, I'm gonna put some links and uh, it looks like a very Tudor style house and hopefully soon it will be open for visits and uh, we can go inside and explore a bit more so uh, this is my Malo vlog today and I'm Elena from Are You in Ireland so I just uh, took some shots of the spa house and now just took some shots of this little fountain it's quite pretty and uh, any park that has a fountain has uh, high points for me because I love water. Uh, running water just really makes a place and um, see you at the castle. So there we go, the central attraction of Malo town is Malo castle or a ruin of um, Malo. <laughs> so, so, so that's back to, that's back to like 12th century or something. So, and um, here is the ruin. At long last, I can. Uh, do you know what time? Last time I was here about uh, six weeks ago, and um, the battery on my phone died, and I wasn't able to film it. Sand is against it now, but um, I like this because it's quite a large ruin. It's quite a lot of features are still intact and um, it has a park around it. This hall has been renovated recently and here you can... it's right in the center of the town as well and everything sort of revolves around that and there's a river right behind those trees there as well so if you stand at the river side on the bridge you could actually see a castle but uh, what also is good that they have at a house right here there we go they have a wooden uh, structure they have a kind of a I suppose castle keepers tower or something and uh, it is a nice place to uh, bring your kids or come out with a dog as you can see fountain is functioning and it wasn't last year they have repaired it <laughs> the dog barking at me <laughs> very animalistic video today I had a sheep saying hello and now I have a dog barking at me <laughs> scaredy dog as I'm getting closer it's running away <laughs> I 
Hello. You're very brave. <laughs> You're very brave, Yorkie. So there is the house. And this is new as well. So this new wooden... Uh, The so last time I was here, there was a... <laughs> so I just wanted to the dog is getting very close to me No, And I've never been bitten by the dog, so I don't fancy that happening today. Just want to give you the glimpse of the castle. <laughs> and the whole ground here and it's been carved by somebody locally out of wood and um, I'm not sure like there was a big wooden piece here on the grounds <coughs> uh, last time I was here so not the last time but I think the time before that last year so it could well be in this is now been transformed into this sculpture just kind of like a dragon and the castle beautiful thing I admire when people can do something like that you know it takes years of practice and um, that's the house I mean I'm gonna put a link to my blog post about Mallow so you could uh, read about it but uh, a nice little park um, with a feature and uh, yeah busy town though I wouldn't like to live here but uh, it has everything really you know and it's much of it centered around the horses and stuff okay so I'm gonna turn off the camera because I think I need to, <laughs> I need to say hello to the owners of the dog <laughs> okay guys hope you enjoyed this couple of new uh, more sites in Malo which you'll see about this video sorry but I couldn't film it all in once but uh, you'll get the idea of the Malo anyway <laughs>